Hey guys, welcome to the Drew Cave. Train Duke here, back with another one. Today we're going to be talking about what exactly do I feed this big fella, all right? Duke is about 145 pounds. Um, and I know you guys probably have a lot of questions about what do I feed him? Do I feed him raw, kibble? How fast did he grow? Um, things of that nature. We're going to get into that. I ask that you guys please subscribe to the video, hit the like button, and stick around to the end because I'm going to insert some raw footage of uh, a feeding session uh, of Duke. So you guys can kind of understand how we get into our groove of feeding. So uh, first thing we'll touch on is uh, how often do I feed him? Uh, right now I feed Duke two times a day, uh, morning session, and uh, in the evening I feed him. So uh, he does pretty good with that. When he was a puppy, uh, I used to feed him three times a day uh, as directed based on the pool that I was feeding him. Uh, I feed Duke kibble, and that type of kibble is uh, blue buffalo wilderness, uh, large breed. As when he was a puppy, I gave him the uh, large breed. I think the flavor was chicken or something like that. So he was on that throughout his entire time as a puppy. Uh, he's really going to town on his hammer. <laughs> and then after, you know, he got about a year or so, I switched over to the large breed adult uh, variant of that. And uh, he was on chicken flavored for a little while, but the the, the poops were loose, so I switched over to salmon and I had no issues. So now he's on Blue Wilderness, uh, large breed salmon. He loves it um, and I don't have any issues. Poops are good, strong, solid, you know, um, but yeah. So as far as size goes, uh, you know, I don't think it's necessarily about what I've been feeding him. You know, he's had a regular kibble diet. Uh, that I think Duke is his size because of genetics, his parents. Uh, his dad is pretty big. His mom is big as well. They're not tall corsos. They don't stand tall on all four, but they are thick, right? And Duke is the same way, very similar to his dad. So like you guys probably seen on other videos on the channel, or if you have time, go check out some of the other videos. You get a good side shot of Duke, man, he's, He's thick or you really feel it when he, you know, tries to sit in your lap like he's a Yorkie or something. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he's a big old boy. As far as where I get his food from, for a while I used to get it from Chewy. Uh, I just order it. It comes pretty quick. And then I ran into an issue when uh, they were on back order for a while. And then I would go down to track the supply and get it and they would have it there if I needed to go get it locally. And um, couple times I went there and it was sold out and uh, it started to become an issue about where can I get his food so I started heading over to PetSmart. PetSmart usually have it and uh, this this most uh, recent time I went to you know refill they didn't have it so I had to go all the way to Petco, Petco <laughs> to get it so sometimes it gets a little crazy uh, you know I drive around the city looking for dog food but you know the big guy's got to eat he can't eat this hammer right <laughs> but he'll try um, yeah, so sometimes there's shortages and out uh, where you can't get it. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to this point. As promised, here is some raw video of me and Duke during a feeding session earlier. Hope you guys enjoy. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good one. All right, guys, so it's feeding time, right? And I got Duke here. He's in a sit. He's super excited. A lot of energy, right? But we gotta, we're gonna calm and tame that. Duke, come. Come. Good boy, sit. Yes, down. Good boy, stay. All right, so you guys see I got his bowls here, nice and clean. Let's check that shot out of Duke as a puppy eating, right? So that's what we're about to get into. Water bowl. All right, so <clears throat> yeah, I got his food here. He's hungry. And uh, shout out to uh, Will, Dre, and Ghost. Uh, this is where I, that's where I got the idea to get this container here. And also this uh, wild Alaskan salmon oil. All right. Uh, I'm from a video on the Dre and Ghost channel. They have a beautiful Connie Corso born one day before Duke. Uh, go over there to their channel. Check out their videos. Um, great people. Beautiful dog. But so for Duke. I got his scoops, and I do one scoop. I think it's a two-cup scoop. 
Damn. Two scoops. All right. Took out Duke over there as a puppy again. And this thing is, it says for uh, greater than 100 pounds, five pumps. So we adhere to that. Sometimes I give them six, but you know. So one, two, three, four, five, and one extra. All right. Water, I give him uh, a second. You guys check him out. Give him a couple cups of water. Right. Fill up that bowl. I want you guys to pay attention to do while we're in this process. All right, so this uh, started with um, him as a puppy, so he knows the drill. All right, so it's time to feed, but you gotta have good manners, okay? Uh, and at this point, you know, Duke understands, so he'd be a good boy. And uh, stay in that down position as I have. Okay, let me close this up. Oh. Sorry about that. Boom. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I will be right back, guys, as I move his bowls outside. Actually, let's do it this way. I'll do one at a time. Do it up. Come. And I don't let him eat inside anymore because he tends to make a mess. So we move that to outside. That's food come. Good boy. Good boy. Water. This is all raw cut. Come on, dude. All right, so. He's hungry. Uh-uh. But I'm a big believer in uh, using feeding time for obedience training to keep him dialed in and uh, to work manners. So with me and Duke, he has to work. You know, if you're going to eat, you got to work. So we're going to do a quick drill. Duke, eyes. Place. Go all the way down. Down. Yes. Good boy. Come down. He's excited. Down. Up. Four. Yes. Four. Yes. Good boy. Stay. Ice. Break. Good boy. He's going to have at it. 